missed it. Oh, ladies night. Guybrush, your wife has lost her mind. And you're about to lose a limb, you sea cow. Elaine, sugar cakes, let's stop fighting and work this out over a nice cold lake grog. It's her head or yours, bilge boy. Or you two can just figure out this little misunderstanding on your own. I'll be over here appreciating my head's ability to stay attached to my neck. Hmm, a recipe for something called a Fat Island Fuzzy Nostril. Hey, Krebs. What do you want? You're not upset about the trial, are you? Why would I possibly be upset by the fact that I hideously disfigured myself in a quest for long-delayed vengeance, only to have it cruelly snatched away at the last moment? About your quest for vengeance? I'm afraid I still don't remember you. You don't remember? How could you forget how you sank me Marlin hunting ship off the coast of Snark Island? Or the time you framed me for mopery on Worsling Shars? Uh, unless I've taken too many blows to the head, I'm pretty sure I've never been to any of those places or done any of those things. Well, you may not remember Boss and Catherine C. Krebs, but you can be sure that there'll always be a black mark next to the name of Guybrush Q. Threepwood. Wait, did you say Guybrush Q. Threepwood? Aye, and a fowler name never escaped me lips. But it's the wrong name. I'm Guybrush U. Threepwood. What? Yeah, your vendetta must be with the other Guybrush Threepwood. I should have realized. You know, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. I keep getting his mail, too. Ah! You're not still upset about the whole hideously scarring your leg in a bid to seek unholy vengeance against the wrong target thing, are you? Tell me, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you fell out of pirate heaven? No, but this will. Stay away from Guybrush, you sea hog! what I always wanted, an ant-infested sack of sugar. Morgan, what do you think you're doing? Don't ask me, ask your crazy wife. I'm gonna run you through, you high seas hussy. Ladies, please, there's plenty of Guybrush Threepwood to go around. Well, that won't be when I'm done with ya. Get over yourself, Threepwood. Yikes. Hey, Morgan, I think you're losing your edge. I'll show you an edge. Whoa! Elaine, Tuckle Bear, Morgan's all bark and no bite. You want bite? Ugh, you got it! And I'll throw in the bark for free. Whoa! Elaine, you should know that Morgan and I spent a few nights together inside of a manatee. Inside of a what? Uh, uh... You're a dog, Guybrush! Ah! Wow, Morgan, you're pretty handy with a sword. Is that so? What else is she handy with? Uh, um... Ah! Can't you two just work it out over a nice grogatini? The Guybrush Threepwood is buying me a drink? Over your dead body, Trollop! Who are you calling Trollop, Schooner Mom? Oh, boy. Okay, I'm gonna go think of something clever. Try not to kill each other while I'm away. Arr! Yeah! Looks like Elaine and Morgan have made a dog's breakfast of your buffet. What? That mess? Oh, pshaw, my boy! That's just the typical aftermath of our weekly ladies' night buffet table. <laughs> Our lady pirates may be easy on the eyes, but heaven help you if you get between them and our bottomless salad bowl. 
Yikes. Occupied! Sorry. WP. Would you mind knocking it off with the darts for a minute? Not on your life! I need to get in a week's worth of practice before tomorrow night's tournament, and who knows how long those hellions will stay out of my way! Looks like ladies' night is picked up a bit. Picked up a little too much for my taste. These she-beasts have scared away all me eligible hard-drinking, hard-spending pirate bachelors! Barkeep, I'd like to order a drink. What'll it be? Can you make one of these Fat Island fuzzy nostrils? Aye aye, Captain! While you're making that, I'll just- Order up! One Fat Island fuzzy nostril, heavy on the fuzz. That was absurdly fast. Arr! Libations! Ah, gimme! Tawusa. Thanks. Ooh, I really needed that. Hey, what's this piece of paper stuck? In? It's a recipe for a drink called the Tri Island Tuna Colada. It's complicated. Okay, this is really flattering, but let's calm down and talk this out like adults. When the flea's been filleted like a fish. Yeah. Arr. Hey, lady. What? what? You two fight like we kill like them too. Arr. Yikes. Hey, Morgan. Bear. Morgan's all bark and no bite. You want bite? Uh, you got it! And I'll throw in the bark for free! Whoa! Huh? Elaine, you should know that Morgan. Uh... You're a dog, Guy Rush! Uh! Can't you. Be over your dead body! Who are you calling? Oh boy. Bartender's recipe for a scab island sling. Seems pretty simple. The only way to drag Elaine into court is to get this voodoo summons into her hands. Hey, darling. What? Would you mind taking this? Only if you don't mind taking this. Hey, Morgan! What? Would you mind handing this to Elaine? Sorry, I've got my hands full trying to keep myself alive without killing your wife! Hey, 
Hey, Krebs. What do you want? What you gonna do with all that gold? All what gold? All that gold inside your chest. Stay away, away from, from Guybrush, Guybrush, you sea hog! hog. Make me one of these. A scab island sling, eh? <laughs> That'll be a snap. Hey, I'll just be over. Here you go. <laughs> one scab island sling. <laughs> Sweeter than a siren song and deadlier than a kraken's kiss. That was fast. Arr! Libations! Ah, gimme. Krebs? What do you? It's nice to see one female pirate in this bar isn't a fight crazed wackadoodle. Oh, I am. I'm just loading up on carbs before joining the fight. Doesn't pay to have a sugar drop in the middle of one of these things, you know. Hey, beautiful. Can you make one of these? A Tri Island Tuna Colada? Arr, that takes me back. I haven't made one of these since I was a bosun under Captain Bo. But can you make one? I'm really in the mood. Aye, but it'll take some doing to scrounge up the ingredients. Take your time. Mm, I don't think so. I'd better not dis- I wonder what happened to Murray. Okay, this is I'll be calm when the place is yeah. There's nothing left of this buffet but a few scraps of tofanity paste and a light ranch dressing. Judge Mix is a mean drink, but he's a horrible shot. Hmm. You don't actually have to hand it to her directly. Just get it into her hand. I don't think leaving the sun there will do any good. Hey, 
Hey, darling. What? Would you mind taking this? Only if you don't mind taking this. The only way to drag Elaine into court is to get this voodoo summons into her hands. I'll just put this here for safekeeping. Done! One Tri Island Tuna Colada! Now I can get back to me, Darth! Arr! Libations! Ah, gimme! Hey, ladies. What? Elaine, Tuckle Bear. You want bite? Yeah. Huh? Good for nothing words getting in the way of my killing. You are formally summoned to appear before the court of Judge Grindstump in the case of the people of Flotsam versus Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, TM. Phew! Now I know who wears the daddy pants in the relationship. You stay away from my boy's pants, or I'll hang you from my Jolly Roger, you Jezebel! And you, don't think you can totter around with some tart and not get a fistful of what? She's a catch. And conveniently, not a rotten double-crosser. I told you I had a job to do. Sure, just doing your job. Tell me, aside from all the silver, how are the benefits? Guybrush. Do you get health care for the repetitive stress injuries caused by all the backstabbing and cutting off people's hands? I said I was sorry. Sorry? I can't pick my left nostril without risking a lobotomy. What if I... What if nothing? Goodbye, Morgan. I've got a wife to cure and an island to save. Mrs. Threefoot. Please tell the court how this horrible pox is all LeChuck's fault. LeChuck? That stick in the mud wouldn't know a good pox if it kicked him in the fundament. Heck, there wouldn't even be a pox if you'd gone through with the voodoo lady's recipe properly. But no, you had to wave that root beer bottle around like some sort of conquering hero. Oh, look at me. I be Guy Brush Threepwood, mighty pirate! Next thing I know, you're trying to replace root beer with root grog and bam! Pox all over the place! Not that I'm complaining, mind ya. Okay. Honey, why don't you please tell everyone how I've been trying to find a cure for the pox? Don't you honey me, you two-timing cannon scrubber! I bet all this talk of looking for La Esponja Grande was all plot to spend time canoodling with your little privateering cheese slag. La Esponja Grande, yes, it's right over there, see? Sure it is. Could you give the court some idea of what a fine, upstanding pirate your husband is? Well, let's see. When I first met him, he was breaking into my mansion to steal a statue. Later, after shanghaiing a crew to take him to Monkey Island, he totally failed to rescue me from the evil clutches of the ghost pirate LeChuck, so I had to dress up a couple of monkeys in a bridal gown. This may have been a bad line of questioning. Then he left me hanging over a pit while he went looking for the treasure of Big Whoop. I didn't hear from him for three years after that. Turned me into a bleeding statue! Left the seat up. Oh, and that's not even mentioning all the times I've found myself tied up, manacled, or otherwise incarcerated because of his blithering idiocy! You're too good for him, love. Save his belly with a rusty razor. I'd like a second to think about my next move, Your Honor. Make it fast! Your character witness is oozing all over my courtroom! Hey, hardtack. Defense will refrain from addressing the bailiff in open court. Sorry. Sorry. Honey, look, they confiscated your ring. You let someone take it from you? Didn't I tell you never to let it out of your sight? Yeah, but. But me no buts, love. 
love of mine. Your Honor, Buccaneers of Flotsam, you all believe that I, Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, have brought this horrible pox to your shores. Off with it! Run him off the plank! Into the jungle beast! What if I were to tell you that I could tame this unruly witness, prove my good intentions, and begin the process of curing you all of this hideous voodoo pox all in one fell swoop? Hmm, this is a I don't know. Maybe. Into the jungle beast! Your Honor, I object. Defense is grasping at sponge-shaped straws here. Denied! But get on with it, Captain! The hangman gets overtime if we keep him up after midnight! With pleasure, Your Honor. Wenches and pirates, I give you Exhibit S, the wonder of La Esponja Grande. I thought it'd be bigger. Now behold, as a simple exfoliating motion of La Esponja Grande washes away the pox, restoring my wife to her usual mostly pleasant demeanor. Sugar cakes? Off with it, head! Get that piece of seaweed off me, you deep sea doily diver! Um. Does the defense have any other pointless arguments it would like to make? Uh, this is sort of all I got. Then, by the power vested in me by the put upon pirates of Flotsam Island, I summarily sentence you to be hanged by your pox spreading neck until you are right there. What? Oof. What is the meaning of this? My name is LeChuck, and I can tell you exactly what Guybrush did. LeChuck? I thought he was a ghost. I heard he was a zombie. Don't listen to him! You see, Your Honor, the pox is all my fault. Listen to him! For decades, I dabbled in the dark forces of voodoo, clamoring for power. I hungered for it. I yearned for it. I pillaged, plundered, and killed for it! I can attest to all of this. And it was my accumulated voodoo that infected you all. Dark, evil voodoo that was explosively released when I was once again defeated by the perpetually heroic Guybrush Threepwood. He's not kidding. I've killed him, like, five times. So you see, Guybrush Threepwood is not the source of this pox. I am. And I hereby throw myself upon the mercy of this court, or lack thereof. Off with your head! But wait, there's more! It turns out I had an unknown silent power urging me down those darkened voodoo corridors. A power far more insidious than I could ever hope to be. I submit to the court this journal, property of <gasps> the... Why it up there! The voodoo lady! Who? That creepy lady who lives in the shack? What the what? In these pages, you will find detailed plans laid out by the voodoo lady over the course of many years to manipulate my never-ending rise to power. My hunger for voodoo, my seemingly endless cycle of ironically comical death and disturbing resurrection, my obsession with the darling Elaine. It's all because of her. Off with her head! Lead to the jungle beast! It can't be true, can it? Order! Order! I hereby call for the release of Guybrush Threeport and the immediate imprisonment of LeChuck and the Voodoo Lady! To the brig with both of them! <gasps> I've added up to me eye patch with all this land-loving lollygagging! I'm a plunder me some treasure! Don't worry about me, my friend. Go cure your wife! 